Right, the cinematic atrocity for this video will be The Swarm by Erwin Allen. If you're unfamiliar with that name, he is the famous director of The Poseidon Adventure and The Towering Inferno. Did, doing a lot of 70s disaster flicks, uh, he decided to have his third one called The Swarm. This is a, a B movie to sting all the other B movies, because, literally a B movie, because of how over the top and gratuitous this film is. First off, the movie is two hours and 35 minutes long, which is really long for a disaster film. I don't care what the topic is, what the disaster is. Any movie, you know, has to have its, um, you have to earn that two and a half hour runtime. And this movie definitely uh, is gratuitous in that way, but it's also gratuitous in the plot. Essentially the plot is a bunch of um, flamethrower wielding men in suits go into an army base where everyone's been wiped out and they don't know what's going on. They've been attacked by bees, uh, not just killer bees, Africanized killer bees, hybrid bees. They don't know where they came from. They weren't made in a lab or anything, but these bees wiped out everyone there except for the one guy. There's a, there's a couple of survivors and they basically saying that these, these bees are like on a rampage around the, the countryside now and they, they can wipe out towns and things like that. Their venom is so deadly that like two to four stings causes hallucinations. So it's a disaster upon epic proportions, but the, the, the movie is just so bloated. It takes itself so seriously. Michael Caine stars as a, the main character, a scientist, an entomologist who's an expert on the bees, but he gets really like upset and screams at this general guy for like two minutes. It's one of the most over the top performances of his career. And you can tell he only did this movie for the money, but there's another big cast. There's like a general guy and um, other scientists. Henry Fonda plays a, a paraplegic uh, scientist guy. And there's also a love interest. There's also a whole town. Uh, Fred McMurray's last film role but the, the, the reason why this movie is a cinematic atrocity is because the first bee attack is done in slow motion. And I don't know why they chose that, but they chose the worst actors, probably because those actors were actually stunt people. They were probably like real beekeepers and they don't have any acting talent. So this mother, father sit down and they're going to have a picnic. They send the boy off to go get some drinks from the cooler. And the dad just starts eating. He's like, oh, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat now because I'm hungry. I'm not waiting for my son. And then they just get destroyed by bees like all over and then they have to like have the bees all over the body too so you just see people flailing around in slow motion pretending to be stung and killed and going like Aah! it's kind of like that they flop around and then the kid escapes and warns the next town there's like a tr love triangle thrown in there too uh, there's just so much it feels so important and pretentious it's trying to be like high cinema but then they show like people flopping around with, with fake bees and real bees all over people. You know, like, obviously if a, a swarm of bees came in the room, you'd be screwed, but like, uh, the bees also cause accidents, which is hilarious too, because you know, someone will be driving a car and then they get stung by bees and then they blow up and then like, there's this giant fireball. So, I mean, the movie is super long, but whenever the bee attacks are on screen, it's hilarious. I laughed really hard during that first bee attack, but um, you know, it's hard to give this a high cinematic atrocity score because I don't want to watch it again because it's so long, but it's worth a viewing for the first time if, if you want something really pretentious and long and, uh, you know, maybe you just watch The Wicker Man and you want to watch more bees attack people, but I give this a cinematic atrocity score of 4 out of 10, not that high because a few laps in between in a really long running time, but if you want to see a overly you know, gung-ho performance from Michael Caine, slow motion bee attacks, lots of explosions and gratuitousness. And then, yeah, The Swarm, 1978.